Okay, so we did the Kelly Blue Book, and it turns out that my Jeep is worth just over seven grand. So we're gonna try to get it for that. I'm gonna put it up for like eight. We'll see what happens. But right now we gotta go to the car wash because my me my Jeep is a fucking wreck. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it probably is because I haven't slept at all, and I'm paranoid. I keep thinking this camera is out of focus. I still can't tell if I'm actually wrecked by the ISO or not, but I just want to see the Jeep right now, see what kind of condition we're working with here. Yeah, not looking too hot right now. One bad light there, but that's like the best selling part right there anyway. I got to the car wash, but it looks like there's a pretty big line, so we might as well start the main portion of this vlog. Today, there it is. Yep. Home Basculus. Yeah. TI. Right there. I must say it's very nicely balanced, especially when you're driving a manual car and trying to flip with the same hand that, that you ship with. That's not bad at all. Uh. Anyways, I'm gonna try to go get this uh, this car washed because I have like no idea what's going on right now. It's like really, really, really packed. All right, so I don't really know what's going on. There's a bunch of people like yelling around me, but I think we have to stand in this line and then they're gonna vacuum it for me and then hopefully do the inside, but it, it might be a little pricey, we'll see. It's lit, boys. Hold on. We're getting the car cleaned. It's really sad too because if you look right here, that store, be a camera store and now it's a flower shop honestly do not like home I am NOT a big Jeremy home fan I mean I like the guy personally but his knives for me don't really flip that well I can't really flip to begin with but the horns the tang pins the how thick the handles are just I don't know for me not a good thing but I know plenty of people that love him to death so this titanium one though I'm not gonna lie I like it quite a bit I just gotta find some place kind of like low key to like pull this thing out because I live in California. This pond right now. What the fuck? Yo! It's like green. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Alright, I think I found a spot. Anyways, as I was saying, there is your titanium basilisk R. I honestly don't know the specifications at all for this knife, and to be honest, I don't really care. The only thing I care about in a knife is if it can flip well. And it's balanced kind of neutrally. I'm like really scared of dropping it on this gravel right now. Why I don't really like the Spectre that much is because the handles are a little too short for me. Um, but you know, on the Basilisk, the the handles are a little longer, and I really like that. I have it latchless right now. I really don't like flipping with latches. It, you know, can mess with the the anodization or anything you have on these handles and scratch them up and it just like you know I don't know I'll carry it in a sheath or I'll carry it you know kind of like this way down in my pocket so it'll never really open on me in my pocket so I'm carrying it right now so I don't really see a need for latches I don't really get why people people feel the need for latches but you know I mean you do you and then of course the blade profile is amazing with this recurve Bowie design I mean I don't know if you can see, but the tip is still intact, but knowing me, that'll be gone within the day. Yeah. I can't stop flipping this knife. It came in the other day, and I I literally can't can't stop carrying it, you know? And I have tons of grails, so for production to be like this, this impressive to me, is a very good thing. Market right now is about between 400 to 600, depending on condition, of course. Um, I got this one in a trade. The guy, uh, the guy gave me a pretty good deal. I still lost money on the knife I treated him because I gave him a, a grill for it, but I'm trying to downsize my collection anyways, and I figured a parcel trade in cash will help me will help me get there and liquidate. Uh, this is like my first vlog and shit. I don't really know what to talk about. I don't really get how people have stuff to talk about, but I feel like with, you know, with these big channels on YouTube, it's not really having something to talk about. It's kind of just like how they present their days and their lives and 
and, and how efficiently they can present their content. I just think it's a cool hobby. I don't really care if anyone pays attention to me. I just, I like this. It's weird. It's, it's weird talking in front of a camera, but it works. I like it. It's a beautiful day outside. I thought, hey, why not bring out the DSLR? I don't know. It's been like six hours since uh, we last talked. Um, we're going to go look at my Jeep. We're going to see how clean it is now. And then we're going to finish the review on the home. God, I have all these bikes around. Oh, right there. I need to go on more bike rides. Nice and pretty. Ooh. Jeep clean? Check. Everything else? I don't really care. I told you guys I would not put specifications in this video, and I won't. What I will do though is I will compare the Bassless R to a Spectre that I have. You can see the difference in handles and all that other stuff. I'll also give you guys weights because I'm, I'm nice like that. If you want to see all the other stats, go on Blade HQ. That's what everyone else does. Okay. All right, so here we have a young Spectre. There you have it. And here's your lined up. The difference in length. Very, very, very slight, slight difference in length. But the basilisk has a longer overall length right there. And weight. And ounces. Specter, the home, 5.12, so a little heavier, very well balanced. All right, so why am I so hyped off this knife? It, I, it just has really good balance. I don't really know what to say. I mean, I don't know. I like ELBs, I like, I'm not gonna try to flip on camera. I like ELBs, I like EXTENDS, I like all the grails. This knife, for a production knife, really good balance. This has a swing kit on it, so it doesn't really count, but uh, stock Spectres, I think, are a little blade bias, personally. I had to put a swing kit on it to make this thing flippable. I mean, it flips well, but, you know, these shorter handles, I mean, they're, they're only like two millimeters shorter or something like that, but, you know, I feel it. I really do feel it. I love the length of this thing. It reminds me of something from BRS. Just, oh, there's like the middle point. It's like the center, center mass. Long story short, pick this knife up. It is what it is. I've spoken, that's my opinion. Please roast me in the comments and let me know what you think about the Bass R home in general. If you're not a home fan, if you are a home fan, let me know.